What's up guys, RotoZap here, and today we're going to be doing something a little different than my normal uh, videos. And we're going to be making a tier list, actually, of the best and the worst benefits that Wizard101 offers on weekends for members. Uh, so, again, this is this is just my opinion, okay, and this is kind of just a substitute content for... Um, I'm working on a special surprise character that will make his debut on the channel pretty soon. Um, but... In the meantime, I do just kind of want to make a video for you guys, something that's a little more fun, a little more uh, lighthearted, easy to watch kind of stuff. But anyway, let's get right into it here. So I'm going to start with double reagents. Yeah, I think this is double reagents and unlimited crafting. The two get bundled together. Uh, this is an S tier thing. I mean, dragoons. <laughs> like this is really the only time I ever do dragoons farming is when there's a double. Um, double reagent weekend it's so it's so good okay i mean it bothers me that there's this much grinding involved for the dragoon stuff but the fact that every once in a while we'll get one of these does make it a little easier because typically in one weekend i can knock out like three or four pieces so that's pretty good right that's like that's one character done so as long as we keep getting these i'm gonna slowly but surely have everything i need for all my characters so that's all right. Okay, it's 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 very important that we get these as often as possible. Uh, double gardening rewards. <sighs> Back in the day, this would have been an easy S tier benefit because you got to double your plot. In fact, I'd have to probably make a tier higher than S because double gardening is just so good. Uh, but nowadays, I'm gonna have to put it in the A tier because it's it's good. Like, the plants that you do have, you'll get double the snacks, double the TC, whatever it is you're trying to get off of them. Um, but it's just, like, the fact that your plot don't double anymore is is a little disappointing. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to have to put it in A. Definitely was an S tier before, but nowadays, meh. All right, Mr. Lincoln has got our training point buyback reward. And this one's interesting, right, because it doesn't sound very good because... It seems like, well, why do I need this if I didn't make any mistakes investing in training points? Uh, it's not really about that. It's more or less about making TC. So uh, for those of you guys who don't know, like the mutate spells, I think some of the examples of that are uh, like mutate into fire shark, mutate into deadly minotaur, uh, you know, spells like that where typically as a those characters, you don't want to have training points invested to make those TC in the easy way. So this training point buyback allows you to kind of just mass produce a lot of the PvP TC that you'll need that requires a mutation. So I'm thinking B or C for this because like maybe C because, you know, in the shadow of something like double reagents, like I, I would take double reagents every single time over this, but it is pretty helpful. And I guess they don't give us these that often, so I, I'll put it in B. I think that's a fair placement for it. Uh, double pet XP, easy S. That's another one that's just like S tier. It's a classic, right? We've had double pet XP for basically as long as they've been doing double member benefit weekends. And it, it's really good. <laughs> like, I don't, there's nothing else to say. It's double pet XP. And pets are arguably one of the most annoying things that never seems to stop. Uh, with this game like it just it, there always seems to be a pet that needs to be made or something it's ridiculous so for that reason s tier easy uh monstrology double animus Ugh. i'm not i don't know guys i'm not feeling this one at all uh i don't do monstrology at all i'm putting it in d tier if you guys like monstrology if you think it's cool okay all right but uh i don't like it i don't find it useful at all I mean, I just, you guys know me, I'm into PvP, and uh, we can't do anything with Monstrology in PvP, so it's, it's going to have to be a D tier for me. Uh, double Chance Rewards on Chest. This is kind of interesting, like this is a fun reward because, you know, you can hit all of your normal locations that you would farm for and just get that free second chance. So, I mean, this is all right, and it, it goes for the whole weekend, too. So you can hit up Lore Master on all your characters, or maybe Dark Moor, or House of Scales, or Waterworks, whatever. Um, I'm going to... I'm debating between B or C again on this one. I think I'm going to give it... I think I'm going to give it a B. 
because it's like it's pretty good right that second chance chest it only saves you 50 crowns but it, it technically saves you 100 crowns because you can get two hits off of the chest for the price of one so if you guys don't know how hitting off the chest works it's first 50 crowns then 100 crowns and if you do it during a double weekend it's free and then it's 50 crowns unless they've changed that that's how it worked originally but they might have changed it to 100 i doubt it though i'm sure it still works like that so you kind of get two uh chest hits for the price of one so you're technically saving a hundred crowns if you do it that way and for double pvp daily rewards this is this is lame i don't like this this is it's not like who 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 asked for that you know what i mean it's like, first of all, the PvP rewards in general are not good. Uh, the only times where they're even remotely decent is when it's like the mystery item. And even then, like, I guess you do have a technical chance of getting a lore spell. But overall, like, this is not a member benefit that I would want over really any of the ones above it. Like, I would take all of these before I would take a double PvP rewards. And similar to double PvP rewards, we got double daily rewards. And yeah, I don't know, man. This is a definite C or D tier for me. I guess I'm going to go C because I think the random items that you can get from the daily rewards and just overall the rewards from your progression on the daily stuff is better. So I'm going to put it a little higher, but it's still not a great reward. Uh, and then for this one, this is, I believe, the double scroll of fortune. So, like, you get double points on scroll of fortune stuff. Uh, I don't participate, like, I don't buy the scroll of fortune. I just do all the free stuff. So, but, you know, I'll give it a B. Okay, it's a B tier thing because it's not fantastic, but it's not bad either. Like, it's it's good. And if you were someone that tries to actively complete the scroll every season, I'm sure you could put this in an A, but... You know, for me personally, I'm going with B. Uh, and then finally, we've got double fishing. Double fishing is a tough one because, for me personally, there really isn't much that I need to fish up. I, I have most of the cool stuff that you can get from fishing, like the code wands and, you know, stuff of that nature. But if you didn't have this, I could definitely see you being excited about double or zero energy fishing. Did I say double fishing? <laughs> no, it's it's zero energy fishing, which uh, yeah, I think I think it's deserving of A because it, it's kind of broken. Like zero energy fishing, uh that's that's pretty good. I mean that's how fishing probably should have been implemented anyway, but that's besides the point. The fact that once a weekend every once in a while they'll they'll let you do that is pretty cool and like i said you should definitely check out the wikipedia for what you can get out of fishing chests and houses and things like that uh, there's some really cool stuff that you can fish out of different stuff like there's code wands and uh, different mounts even like there's there's a bunch of crazy stuff that you can get i'm pretty sure the polarian explorer mount the one that gives like two percent damage I'm pretty sure that that's fishable. So, yeah, this is this is. I'm gonna have to go with A tier on this. Um, but that's it, guys. That's that's all of them ranked. Uh, I think that really everything B tier and above is like that's a good weekend. Um, anything in the C or D tier, I'm kind of disappointed. But yeah, that those are just kind of my thoughts on this. Uh, if you guys agree with my picks, let me know. And if not, also let me know. But <laughs> that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, Rotozap out. Peace.